It's another Valkyrie. We're gonna save her, right? If by save her you mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is I. Enough. Both of you. I will decide the best course of action. Prepare yourself. Okay, here we go! This one is louder than the last. Milady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye! Somebody made them this way. Who? And why? I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something. Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Ted? Uh, Sigrun, the queen of the Valkyries. She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had... history, I guess you could say. Like... Romantic history? Ah, oh, lad. You're making me blush, I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind that distraction. So why do they call Odin the Lord of the Hank? That refers to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge. The time he spent nine days a dead man, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side, and bled down into the Well of Destiny. 
He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad? <laughs> Whoa. It's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the old father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find your own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, this is it, lads. It's been an honor. Our faith head. Can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look, the tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? I cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? It can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! I took the stone! The tower. It's 
it's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. Oh, no, this is considerably worse. Oh dear, here they come. Where are we? Look! We're back in Midgar. 
There's the bridge. We did it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. And look! Now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. Another name. Loin. Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the Queen? How'd you come to be in these lands? Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation, and so I set to demonstrate my worth by coming to him with something I knew he'd value. A mystic well of knowledge. Or rather, I should say, a well of water laced with enough mystic mushrooms to make a god see visions. Oh, he was rightly impressed. Can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. Then I persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. I used to think he never caught on. But the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been fooled. He knew I'd outwitted him, called the lesson wisdom, and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side. And for a long, long time I truly was. Doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge. That dragon, it's Baldur's, isn't it? Yes. And you brought it down, to save me? It was very heroic.
where do we go from here? Here. I still don't get why you ever wanted to work for Odin. Back then, I was young enough to still be ambitious. The Aesir gods were as powerful a force as I'd come across, but they clearly lacked for strategy, focus, and sage counsel. All this could I faithfully provide. And so, a stranger from a far-off island found himself with Odin's ear, trusted as he trusted no one but himself. And with that kind of power, laddie, I must confess, there are perks. Yeah, but he's Odin. I never claim to be perfect, laddie. Only clever. And often too clever by half. So what'd you do to get Odin so mad at you? Well, for a long time my job was to enable Odin. And I was fucking excellent at it. Gradually, as I grew more to care about people and the world, my job became to contain him. To protect him from himself. By serving peace, I served his interests as well. That's the truth. But he saw it as disloyalty. No longer trusting my motives, but not wishing to part with my brain or tongue, he bound me to a tree and adopted a new pastime of casual torture. Well, I'm glad we came along to cut off your head. Aye, lad. Lucky break, that was. Another name. Hildur. The arcane runes. They must have been cluing us to look for Valkyries imprisoned in Muspelheim and Niflheim. the unity stone didn't it i wanted to fly again yes that's a terrible pity mimir why do you have bifrost crystals in your eyes a loving gift from the giants since i used to do so much traveling between realms they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal i could lose did it hurt no because i wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of billow maiden's ale I got so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put them in my nipples instead. <laughs> Almost talked them into it, too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost teats. <laughs> ah, those were the days. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now.